Test 2 review. Solve the equation. We want to get x by itself, so first add 10. 2 plus 10. 4x means times. We undo multiply with divide. 12 divided by 4. You're done solving an equation when you get x by itself. Number two, also solve an equation. Okay, we've got that parentheses. We can't do what's in the parentheses because they're not like terms. Okay, we're not going to do 6 minus 2 because subtraction comes after multiplication. The negative 2 parentheses means to multiply negative 2. So we're going to multiply first because of the order of operations. Negative 2 times x. Negative 2 times 1. Keep those equal signs straight up and down. Okay, I've got like terms now. On the left, minus 3x minus 2x. And then 6 minus 2. Keep those equal signs lined up. Okay, now I've got negative 5x on the left, 2x on the right. So I'm going to add 5x to both sides. 4 equals 7x plus 1. Okay, I chose to cancel out the negative 5x because it is the smaller one. And I like to cancel the smaller one. Notice how it gave me a positive x on that right side. Okay, I put the plus 5x underneath the like term 2x. Okay, x is on the right, so I undo the plus 1 with minus. 3 equals 7x. So I divide. So 3 over 7 equals 2x. Okay, get x by itself. Always do the same thing on both sides. Number three. Okay, we have fractions. We can get rid of those by multiplying by what two and five go into. So we're going to multiply by ten. Multiply everything by 10. So I'm going to put a 10 over 1 beside the x over 2 equals x over 5 also gets a 10 over 1. Plus, we're going to have a 10 over 1 also times the 9 over 2. Okay, we're multiplying everything by 10. Why 10? Because 2 and 5 go into 10. I put 10 over 1 because everything's a fraction. Okay, you can multiply straight across or cross cancel, cross multiply. I'm just going to go straight, straight across. 10 times x, 1 times 2. 10 times x, 5 times 1. 10 times 9. And 1 times 2. Okay, now I've got nice divisions there. 10x divided by 2. 10x divided by 5. 90 divided by 2. Okay, when you multiply by 10, that gives you nice divisions. Okay, nice divisions are things that have whole numbers. Okay, so I've got 5x equals 2x plus 45. 
5x equals 2x plus 45. I've got x on both sides. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides to give me 3x equals 45. Okay, don't ever cancel out one side. Okay, you've got to have letters on one, numbers on the other. Okay, now that means multiply. 3x means multiply. So divide by 3 on both sides. x equals 15. Number 4. Okay, now notice there's an x in the bottom, so we have to figure out what x cannot be before we solve. Bottoms cannot be 0, so x minus 8 can't be 0. So that means x cannot equal 8. Why can x not equal 8? Because if you put 8 in, at the bottom, you get divided by zero, which is undefined. Okay, now we need to find out what x does equal. All right, so we're going to multiply each piece by x minus 8. Oops, sorry, that's incorrect. This was 18 over x minus 8, and I'm going to multiply it by x minus 8. Okay, I'm just going to rewrite that. I'm going to rewrite that so we can cross multiply now. Okay, I'm going to just use the highlighter. We're crossing out x minus 8 on top and bottom, and also here. That gives us 6 here. We distribute the 2 because there wasn't one on bottom to cancel. 2 times x, 2 times minus 8. And the x minus 8 is canceled on the right. Okay, now we're going to combine these like terms. 6 minus 16 is negative 10. So I've got 2x minus 10 equals 18. I need to get x by itself. Add 10. Undo the multiply with divide. So x equals 14. Now we have that other part from the beginning. x cannot equal 8. Okay, It's okay for it to be 14. It wasn't okay for it to be 8. Number 5. 15x squared plus 9x, oh, 19x, plus 6 equals to 0. Okay, this is a quadratic. Quadratic, that means we need to factor it. Okay, so 
I need to make a FOIL problem that equals that trinomial. 15 could be 5 times 3, 15 and 1. Okay, let me write out the answer. And then we're going to check it. Okay, so 5x times 3x. To multiply to 6 could be 6 and 1, could be 3 and 2. Okay, let's see how this, let's check the factoring. And we are going to check that by FOIL. So 5x times 3x, 5x times 2, inside 3 times 3x, last 3 times 2, Okay, the 10x and the 19 and the 9x do make 19x. Okay, now that's not the answer. Remember, we're solving the equations here. So I'm going to uh, rewrite my factored form, which was 5x plus 3 times 3x plus 2 equals 0. Now remember, <clears throat> how do two things multiply? to equal zero. That's what parentheses mean. Okay, They equal zero when one of them is zero. So 5x plus 3 equals zero. 3x plus 2 equals zero. Solve each of them. Subtract. Divide. Over here, subtract. And also divide. We get two answers when we have x squared problems. Okay, now I'm going to work this same problem a second way. And that's by using the quadratic equation. Okay, the quadratic equation uses a, b, c. And here's the equation. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Okay. Negative b means the opposite of what b equals. Okay. b squared means b times b. I forgot to bring my calculator with me. I know there's a calculator here somewhere. All right. Maybe not. All right, so I'm going to have to do some old school math. Nine times nine. Uh, is 81, carry the 8, 9 times 9 is 8, uh, sorry, 9 times 1 is 9 plus 8, 1 times 9, and 1 times 1. Okay, so that's 361. 19 squared means 19 times 19. Okay, 4ac means 4 times a times c. And it's all over 2 times a. Okay, inside that root, inside that root, we need to do the order of operations. There's a parentheses, but there's nothing to do in the parentheses. Those parentheses mean multiply. So I'm going to have to multiply 4 times 15 times 6. Okay, we multiply before we subtract. Okay, so I'm going to do that here. I got 4 times 15 times 6. Okay, well, 4 times 15 is 60, times 6 is 360. Okay, so that means I'm going to have minus 360 there. We 
we had 361 and that multiplication equaled 360. And it was 2a, which was 2 times 15 is 30. Now we can do in the root, subtract 361 minus 360. The square root of 1 is 1. Okay, it came out to a nice square root. Okay, our two answers means one of them is plus 1 and the other one is minus 1. Okay, negative 19 plus 1 is negative 18. All right, that reduces because 6 divides into both of those. 6 goes into 18, and 6 goes into 30. On the second one, minus 19 minus 1 is minus 20. And 10 goes into each of those, 10 into 20, and 10 into 30. Okay, so we get the same answers as what we did when we factored. These are two equally fine ways to work the same problem. Okay, we're on number six. Okay, I've got something squared equals 25. Something squared equals 25. Okay, that could be 5. That could also be negative 5. Okay, so that means 2x minus 5 either equals 5 or it equals minus 5. Okay, what's inside the parentheses gets done first. That means 2x minus 5 needs to work out to equal 5 because then you would do 5 squared is 25. 2x minus 5 could also equal to negative 5, because then when you square negative 5, a negative 5 times a negative 5 is also positive 25. Okay. Remember two answers on these squares. Add 5 on both sides and divide. Add 5 on both sides. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. And divide. Okay, so those are the two things that x can be. On number 7, we have another quadratic because of the square. Quadratic means square x squared. Okay, so I'm going to, um, if you try to factor it, you'll find that nothing comes out. If it doesn't factor, we have to use the quadratic. a is the 5, b is the understood 1 in front of the x, and c is minus 1. So it's negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So we're going to plug in. Negative b means the opposite. b squared means b times b. 1 times 1. Minus 4ac means multiply. a is 5. c is minus 1. It's all over 2 times a, and a is 5. 2a, a is 5. Okay. All right. What did we have in our root? 1, and then negative 4 times 5 times negative 1. We multiply before we subtract. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 1 is positive 20. 
Okay, we had that one and then the multiplication. Two times five on the bottom is 10. One plus 20 is 21. Okay, now our two answers come from the plus or minus. So one of them is plus square root and the other one is minus the square root. Okay. Now, why is this done? Because the square root of 21 does not break down. It's got seven times three, but neither one of those are squares. Okay, number eight, minus four x, is greater than or equal to 24. We divide by negative 4 to get x. And our symbol flips because we divide by negative flip. Okay, put it on a number line. Less than or equal to means to include. Less than's on your left. Going to the left means negative 7, negative 8, negative 100, negative 1,000, negative infinity because they keep getting smaller and keep going. The or equal to tells us to include the number with the bracket. Remember, you go left to right from your shading. What's on the left, that arrow means they keep going negative, 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 but they stop at negative 6. Number nine, absolute value, we split into two parts. We flip on the negative. And less than is and. We flip on the negative. Okay, solve. Solve. Okay, it's got to be less than 4 and bigger than negative, two, less than negative 4. Okay, negative 10 is smaller. Less than negative 4. It doesn't have or equal to, so parentheses, less is to the left. Greater than negative 10 graders to the right and it doesn't have or equal to so it's not included and means where it's both okay where is it in both sections both shaded areas it's just the area that's in between here that got shaded twice see how it has each line each line is there twice in that middle between negative 10 and negative 4. Okay, same thing, we do two, but more is or. Flip on the negative. So x is greater than or equal to three or less than or equal to negative nine. Or sorry, negative three. X is less than or equal to negative three. Okay, greater than or equal to, greater to the right or equal to includes. Less than negative three means to the left, or equal to include with your bracket. Okay, so what's on the left is negative infinity. It stops at negative three. The second set is from, I don't know why I wrote that. The second set is from three to infinity. Our two sets have a U in between them. U just means it's this set of numbers to the left and this set of numbers to the right. That is the end of the review.